What's up, YouTube? We're back. It's Sunday morning. It is 5.45 a.m. No more darkness. No more darkness for the mornings. We're getting close. We're getting close to summer. We're getting close to Christmas. Fuck me. we got to get our fucking stock fucking piled up. Let's get some new death piles happening. I'm still fucking half asleep. This is way too early. But we've done the last few weeks. We've done a fair few, a fair fucking few uh, op shops, thrift shops. I feel the need. I feel the need. We need to go to the markets. We need to get some old toys. We need to get some toys. We need to get some. We need to get whatever we can get. Some video games. Let's get some good shit. Let's get some good shit. And if we have a good day, if we have a good day. We're getting fucking Macca's breakfast. We're getting Macca's breakfast. Or if we have a really good morning and we get a fucking holy grail of a morning, I'm gonna treat myself to a Bunnings sausage sizzle. Woo! Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. This is hands down the best markets in WA. I am telling you it's the best markets in WA. The Millville markets down on Canning Highway. This markets, if you get here early, you do get some good shit. And if you sell here, I've sold here twice. First time I made 500 bucks, 500 and something dollars. The second time I made 300 and something dollars just selling shit and junk that I didn't want anymore. This is the place where you want to go. I love it. All right, these are without a doubt the best markets I've been to in Western Australia. Always find something. I've never come home empty-handed. And when you're selling here, you always sell. So if you've ever got junk and you live in WA, uh, come to these markets because uh, pe people, every Sunday morning, no matter what, and it's hard to get a space. You have to get here pretty early. And we're going for the PlayStation 2 games. Not much shit there that I don't already have. already got those uh, SmackDown vs. Raw games for myself. Better than fucking this year's 2K20. Fuck. All right, so we go over to here. We got a lot of people sell junk, of course. A lot of people have junk, and then a lot of people up the prices way too much. Like they wanted fifteen dollars for this Iron Man, and I probably could have sold it for fifteen dollars. So you know, but this is the good thing about uh, markets. You can come to the markets, and you can barter with people and bargain. This lady here had fucking heaps of toys, which was awesome. This was uh, a gold mine for me. Um, I wasn't interested in looking up all the dolls and all that, and, uh, the Paw Patrol, but, uh, heaps of Ninja Turtles, I wanted $10 each for those, uh, big ones, which is a bit, uh, too much, I don't know much about Pokemon, so don't kill me any Pokemon fans, but, uh, all those Pokemon cards and all that there, I did not know if they were worth it or not, uh, a little bit too hard, when you don't know what you're looking at. So like I said, always research. Research everything before you uh, go and make a purchase and have knowledge in your head. And then when you've got knowledge in your head, you can wing it. And talking about winging it, um, I haven't looked up any prices yet for Thursday's episode. Uh, but I found these Ninja Turtle skateboards, which they'll probably stay in my own collection, but I'll still show you. whole heap of pops here. Um, I didn't, I just had a quick little look through the pops, but, um, she wanted, she wanted the uh, 20 bucks for them each, what you actually pay for them, so, I don't know, I was, I, I couldn't be bothered, I couldn't be bothered with that, um, there's more Pokemon cards, I'd love to get some, uh, knowledge, oh, I didn't notice the Hungry Caterpillar there, if you don't know the Hungry Caterpillar, what a fantastic kindergarten story that was. Um, in his box of 50 cent toys though, I always love going through these boxes when people have toys for 50 cents. You can find some good shit and they think it's junk, but it's not junk. Now, I've, 
I happened to see on YouTube, I was just looking uh, at just toys, what um, toys are worth money, and funny enough, just two weeks ago I saw something about, um, I was watching what McDonald's toys are worth money. And these Snoopy toys are worth money. If you can get the whole set of 20, you can get 100 to maybe $300 for a full set of the 22, I think it was. Um, look, I think I picked up... I think I picked up six of them, six or seven of them. I picked up six or seven of them, uh, 50 cents each. And that's pretty fucking cool. Um, so there's a New Zealand uh, rugby Snoopy. Uh, what else did I grab in there, if I can remember? That was the, I think that was the Irish one, or the Scottish one. But I just, I just kept on making a pile, and I grabbed them all. And I haven't looked them up yet. We'll look them up and we'll uh, let you know on Thursday uh, what they're worth. But fuck, I wasn't stopping. I was getting those. Uh, so I moved on from there. Everyone sells DVDs. So if you're looking for DVDs, you're always going to find DVDs at the markets. No doubt about it. Now this guy here was a junkie. I left the sound on for it, but you couldn't, you couldn't hear it. So I'll talk about that junkie uh, that was going off. It was the one that was behind the guy with the hat. So he was a dickhead. He was an absolute dickhead. Alright, this guy was selling New Age records. Yeah, no thank you. Got the fuck out of there. Don't like New Age crap. Give me the old school rock and roll. That's old dirty ripped up vinyl covers. That's what we want. There we go. We got some uh, Mario little mini plush keyring toys. Um, nah. Not really worth anything. Pretty cool. If you had a kid, though, unless you only wanted three bucks for the three of them. If you had a kid with you, fuck it. Get them for them. Why not? Um, this late... Ah, this... <laughs> had a box of uh, Nintendo Wii games. I found two Wii games. Like I said, I haven't looked any of them up yet to see what prices I got because I'm uh, editing this straight away. Uh, but um, I did pick up two. Uh, Sonic one. Uh, that Sonic one that you can see on the screen. And that one I picked up, whatever the fuck that was, I picked that one up as well. Um, I got them for a dollar each. These are uh, PC games. She was going to give them to me for a dollar each, but um, the fucking wrong uh, discs were in there, which uh, kind of sucked, because that battle chest was a floppy disk game, and I've uh, found a Dungeons & Dragons uh, floppy disk game before for 50 cents, which had six floppy disks in it, and that sold for $60. So... That chess game would have been at least 15 bucks. Floppy disk games uh, collectors want. This lady had some cool stuff, actually. Picked up a Star Wars book for myself. Well, it'll be for myself if it's not worth any money, but uh, once I look at the price, um, we'll have a look. Uh, that one there I picked up for myself. Uh, but uh, she went 50 cents for that. And then there's a few other bits and pieces uh, that she had there, some cool toys. I picked up a cool puzzle from her. Uh, haven't looked it up yet, a wooden puzzle. I only paid five bucks, I think it was, for it, and I um, should get some more right, uh, money. Check out, the, I went back to the junkie. Look at this, that's a Manchester United, this nice, beautiful wooden case with uh, velvet inside. But all that was inside was a small book, just a small book, and there was no coins or anything like that, so I have no idea what that was, but it was beautiful wood and beautiful. There's that dickhead. There's the dickhead there that I got the uh, Sopranos from. Well, those markets are fucking good. I love those markets. If you ever get an opportunity, especially if you live in uh, Western Australia, go to the Melville markets or sell there. You make a shitload. Either or either. You'll find good stuff and you'll sell fucking heaps of shit cheap. So go there, it's wicked. You find fucking. You find a lot of shit. Now I need a smoke. I need a smoke. So I got a bag full of shit. I don't know how much I spent, but it was pretty much pocket change. Uh, everything that I uh, brought. I didn't look really anything up. Everything was just winging it. Um, so I'm kind of hoping, I'm kind of hoping, but uh, hey, I reckon I got some good shit. Is it going to be worth money? Is the kitty going to look good this week? Or am I going to be down in the brown town? I don't fucking know. 
So there was this fucking junky criminal dickhead, cockhead, cock smoker, someone that shouldn't even be living on our fucking planet. One of these dickheads that you know if you had the opportunity just to get fucking money, he would break into your house and steal your shit and sell it and I reckon that's what he was doing. Hopefully I caught him on camera. Uh, he was arguing, going off at someone, he was a fucking idiot, but I went back to his store right at the very end and I grabbed this fucking, I grabbed this fucking big complete box set of uh, The Sopranos. Um, <laughs> I asked him how much he wants for it. He said 10 bucks. I already looked that up. I already looked it up beforehand. You can get between 50 and 100 bucks for it. Um, I said, uh, look, mate, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to go through and see if every disc is here. The 60 discs. I can't be fucked doing that. I said, I'll give you five bucks. Oh no, I think they're there. Oh, I think one disc might be missing. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I can go through all the discs now. I said, ah, oh, don't worry about it. Five bucks, or um, oh, ah, I don't want it. So he gave it to me for five bucks. The fucking, the fucking zombies. The zombies on The Walking Dead have got more brains than this cunt. But straight up, you could tell he was a junkie. Anyway, there's another one on the way home. Uh, the Cadinia one, I'm pretty sure it's called. Cadinia Market, so we're gonna check that one out. It's definitely worth, definitely, definitely worth getting up at five o'clock on a Sunday morning. A lot of people, fuck that, I'm fucking sleeping in. Fuck, fuck that. I enjoy going to the markets. I like the markets. As long as I'm not hungover. And I'm not hungover today. So. Alright, let's check these other markets out. And, uh. Don't forget, on Thursdays I do show and tell. So Thursdays you will see everything. That's part of my schedule. Thursdays you see everything. Uh, because tonight or tomorrow I'll film, uh and look up and see what all the prices are. So Thursdays, you get to see everything that I uh, grabbed today. All right, let's do this. Oh, McDonald's. All right, these Cadinia markets aren't the greatest. Uh, you do have usually a dog shit day when you go to these Cadinia markets. And it's not Cadinia in Geelong, it's not Cadinia Park, Cats fans. All right, so I look for these PC games. Uh, don't really know, to be honest. They'll they weren't ones that were going to sell and this little Asian lady wanted a little bit too much for them she was asking for but that's all right because I found a perfect perfect thing that I've been looking for for a long time and not this that is a video to DVD converter but then I found these go for 50 bucks 50 or more that is where you put the old videotape in to this videotape from the video camera so that is fucking sweet that is sweet uh paid five bucks for that she wanted ten dollar i want ten dollar i said no five dollars uh, ten dollar come on i said it's just a video no one collects videos anymore okay five dollar so i got that for five dollars good the fuck on array look at that elvis picture of marilyn monroe they look fucking good the king the king always dvds you're always going to find DVDs. Some people want way too much. Uh, some people just ask for way too much. This Angry Birds, I got excited, but it was already open, so I did not get it. And uh, this dickhead, he wanted fucking uh, 30 bucks, I think it was, for that um, webcam. And I'm pretty sure they go for 30 bucks, so you can suck a dick. Uh, oh, look at this. Porno magazines. $5 each. Five dollars each for a bag of porno magazines. We'll pause it on there just so you can have a little look. See, uh, yep, five dollars each. Uh, if it was five dollars the bag, I might have brought them and I could have probably fucking sold them off. Um, if it was DVDs, I definitely would have brought the uh, DVDs for five dollars each for the pornos because I know 100% I know I would have got 30 to 40 bucks uh, a DVD, especially if they were fucking good filthy dirty ones ah uh, there's fucking seedy pricks out there they love that shit oh, look at this leg a mannequin leg mannequin leg why would you sell just one mannequin leg oh this old bloke was fucking sweet uh there was videos here on the table none of them worth anything but uh an old 95 uh dockers framed picture but 
what caught my eye and which I brought for ten dollars. He wanted fifteen. I got it for ten. Uh, Hall of Fame, the East Fremantle Sharks Hall of Fame uh, framed picture, and that that's going to be worth some money. That's fucking awesome. Well, I think I did pretty damn fucking good at that one. Uh, I only got two things. Not a hundred percent sure. The second thing that I got, which I'll show you Thursday, but. Um, that uh, videotape that uh, you saw me gr get at the start. Now, if you ever, I'll explain it more on Thursday when I can show it to you properly. But um, this is where you put the old tape from your video camera in, and then you can put it in the VHS and play it. I'll explain it all on Thursday. I got that for five bucks from her. Um, and she knew what she fucking had. She wanted 10, I only gave her five. That's all you fucking get. But, uh, I, I, you can get about 50 bucks for those, about 50 bucks for those things. So always be on the lookout for that. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm on uh, Instagram now, so there's my Instagram there if you want to follow me on that. Uh, there's my eBay down there. If you want to uh, buy anything that you see that I've got, helps me out. It goes towards the wedding fund and the uh, <coughs> honeymoon. So there's my eBay account there. Um, Thursdays, Thursdays we've got uh, fucking uh, what have we got Thursdays? Thursdays we've got show and tell. So you'll see everything I got today uh, for show and tell, uh, which is pretty sweet. So don't forget to subscribe. Um, subscribe, like. That's it. And the channel is growing thanks to all you guys. So thanks so much. I really do appreciate it. It's fucking sweet. Really sweet fucking seeing how many more subscribers just keep banging on. So yeah, really appreciate it. Fucking really fucking do. I earned this what I'm about to fucking get right now. That's it. Thank you. Cheers. And um I don't know what she fucking said. Cheers for watching. Subscribe. Don't subscribe. Do what the fuck you want. I'm about to eat fucking double sausage and egg, McMuffin meal for breakfast. Two. Come ride with me. Let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a.